So we're looking at a subset of a larger data set called airlines.txt. So I've extracted information where um, the airport code is LAX. So this is um, information where air, the airport code is LAX and I've selected which columns from there. So let's say if I wish to determine the average number of flights canceled on a monthly basis, I can do some statistics here on that. So let's say I go to stats and let's do summary stats and let's look at this particular column. And if I'm interested in flights canceled, I'll just select that. And I think that's all we need. We'll get the mean, the variance, standard deviation, and so forth. So let me just uh, hit compute here. And so what I have then is the average number of flights canceled, um, average number of monthly flights canceled out of LAX. And it looks like this is what, 224.7 um, flights per month are canceled out of LAX. Now, if I wanna go further and um, get the confidence interval, um, I'll go back in and let's do the stats and uh, let's see which ones do we want We're looking at the columns now let's go back data we're going to go in stats and these are the t statistics we don't have the population information so we're going to use t stats we're going to use the data instead of the summary statistics. And um, with this, I want the confidence interval. I can get any confidence interval that I wish. So let's look at uh, canceled, average number of monthly flights canceled. And if I hit control and also select delayed, I'll get two options. If I just hit one and then the other, it switches between them. But if I hit control, I can get the summary or I get the uh, the one sample T statistics in the confidence interval that goes with those two particular columns um, and I'll have it show me the critical value um, and let's do that let's go ahead and hit compute and so there I get um, I can infer the mean um, for the population based on the sample statistics.